What's up guys? Welcome back. So today I'm in Illinois and I'm in this guy's private collection of old vehicles. Currently I'm standing in a old school bus. This guy has everything here. So I'm trying to escape the wind for a little bit so I can do this intro, but the wind here in Illinois is just crazy and it's going to be hard to hear me. So, um, so yeah, this is what I'm doing today. I'm in Illinois and Unfortunately, Hannah wasn't able to come with me today. She had to work. So it's just me. I brought some money and a 50 foot car trailer. So hopefully we can find something to take back to Indiana. So let's get on this journey and see what all we can find. Lots and lots of stuff. So I'm not going to get into years, make a model because you guys are going to burn me on all of it. I know. So if I say whatever car this is is going to be wrong year and stuff like that so we're just going to go i'm just going to give you guys a walk around of what we got we got some school buses that's pretty obvious <laughs> start with that i do know that's a camaro year i'm not sure an old ford so we got an old c50 school bus pop inside one let's we'll see what's in here a bunch of stuff So, got some tires. We got that. I thought this thing was pretty neat. Um, I was talking to Miles and he was saying they made this thing into like a little tractor or something. Uh, he called it something. I'm not sure why he even called it now, but got an old dent side Ford, another shoebox Ford. Um, thing looks cool. But it's a shame, like, this thing's cool car but it's pretty ate up already i will show you guys something that i thought was cool uh, i gotta find it there's a lot here there's an old old jeep jeepster um let's see what we got here an old mercury It'd be perfect it's got perfect patina on that thing i think it's sweet good looking little four-door car big dent in the roof but look at that they just cars back then were just so much cooler i mean no one can really disagree with me on that those are sweet little portholes on the side and then they get the moss running out of them that's cool i'd be right up hannah's alley right there turquoise and all well, let's see which way we're gonna go. Here's an old two-door wagon. This thing's really neat. I'm afraid it's maybe too far gone as well, but got a dent in the roof. That's cool. So I do like this one. This one caught my eyes. Uh, it's an old Chrysler 50s. I'm not sure on the year. Uh, but like a 50s model Chrysler. It's got perfect patina on this thing. Doors shut and open pretty good. I was looking at this thing earlier. A little stiff, needs some WD-40 on it, but look at the dash. The dash, the cluster in this thing is perfect. <laughs> I don't know, I might have to have that one to shut the door. But that thing is sweet. Imagine that, slam down. With a 12 valve Cummins in it with some big fat white walls on it. Mm. Uh, let's see what we got. We got some 52, 53 Chevys over here. Got you a two door one. It's a good looking little car. The trees are hard on this. All, about all the cars here have a dent in the roof. Got your dent there. A little three speed on the tree. Yeah, there you go. Just got a couple more. Someone was working on that one, probably doing a rear end change and then left it there. <laughs> got a little four door one. Till must have been a really popular color back in the 50s that's not really a bad looking car there i mean it's that one's pretty solid it's got a little look at the old patch that's pretty cool someone patched it up <laughs> riveted on there that's awesome 
Golly, that thing got smoked. That thing's awesome. All right, what else we got here? Got another little shoe box. Oh, what is that? It's kind of weird. Different. I'm not sure really what that one is. Definitely different. Let's see if it'll tell us what it is. Weight reduction. Old mercury. Looks like a tree limb probably fell on that guy too. Here's an old another Chevy. Man, that thing is that thing would have been cool. That thing's awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Going back this way. What is that? An old Biscayne? 50 something Biscayne? Yeah. I love the body lines on these things. All right, onward we go. Got some old stuff, some old, look like some old farm equipment or something here. Old barrel, some old wagon wheels. Probably something really good in there. All right, an old mercury. An old panel van there, that's pretty neat. Little Chevy. Man, that panel van's cool if the side wasn't missing out of it. I guess they're still there. They're not missing. They're just not there. <laughs> what is this? An old Ford panel van? Let's see what it is. I think that's a Ford. Yeah, that's a Ford grill in it. An old. <laughs> there you go. The car disintegrated around itself and that's all that's left some old short buses over there let's go check them out oh there's two of them thank you i wouldn't mind having one of them but it'd be so hard to pull them out Back end of these school buses are awesome. <laughs> school buses today, they're all squared off. These things actually have some style. Superior. I wonder what that one is. That one's a superior school bus. Let's see what this one is. That one's a superior too. I wonder, I think they're about the same year then. Another cool one. Golly, look at this cougar. Woo! This baby got smoked by a tree. All right, all these trees need to go. You are damaging way too much stuff. Yeah, look at this one. Another tree. Ugh. Hey, there's the key. Man, lots and lots of cool stuff here, guys. An old tractor. I don't know, did we go this way already? I'm already confused on where I went, where I took you guys and where I didn't take you guys. We'll go over here again. You guys will see it twice, I don't know. I love the wings on these older cars. Yes. <laughs> Got a half of a car here. There's an old four-door Bel Air, four-door Chevy, whichever. I'm already turning around where I'm at. Well, I do know you guys have been partially through here. <laughs> I did hear there is a, an old Packard limo on the other side of the land here. See if I can make it over there. The Civic, like a 70s model maybe or something. You don't really see older Civics. What they got going on here? Sorry, I get a little sidetracked. So it's a trailer, <laughs> that's the front end of the car. 
different. A little Honda Civic. This thing is sweet. We'll just do a little walk around. I think this one's got a dent in the roof too. Let me see. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's got a dent. An old, like an old BMW motorcycle, possibly. Old boat sitting there. And then we got an old, what is that? An old Oldsmobile ragtop. Is that what it is? Yep, Oldsmobile. An old Impala. Super 88 Oldsmobile. Pretty decent looking car. Man, the patina on that thing is perfect too. sure what that is. It was something at one time, but I'm not sure. No Bel Air. A Mercury. I always thought these things were neat too. Things a little, a little rough, but look at that door on that thing. That door is long. Golly. Now we got an old Galaxy, another Bel Air. A handful of cars out here. An old 50s model Chevy bed, it looks like. An old Ford LTD over there. That's a neat little trailer. All right, what do we got here? Not sure what this is. Like an old Hudson, is that what that is? I don't know. It's definitely different. I don't know if I've ever seen one of them. This is what I need. This paddle boat. That thing would be cool. <laughs> Tana definitely killed me. Bring that home. Oh, we got another, another Mercury and a boat. Nice. Four-door Bel Air, imagine it, lower down, LS in it. Man, look at the patina on this car. This is actually a pretty decent little car. Man, all the interiors in it. Oh. Look at that patina. That's perfect. Like, I already seen this car earlier, but then I get sidetracked, and then I don't even know where I'm at. I did find something I do want. So, I'm building this welder bed, or welder truck. And look at this old tow truck bed. There is a lot to see here. I've already walked this like three times and every time I see something a little different and should have brought a scooter or something. Got some nice stuff. Ooh. That thing's got pretty cool patina on it. What is this thing? Thanks, cool. Ah, here we go, Lincoln. Probably definitely out of my price range, but it is very nice. That Impala is pretty nice. And I like this. I think this guy just came to look at stuff, but a little Chevy Love, woo. This thing is cool. First, when he pulled up, I thought it was Puddin's Fab Shop, <laughs> but it's not. Alright, so I guess I am buying this old Chrysler, 53 Chrysler. I got the tractor going, got an air compressor airing up the tires for me, and then we're gonna try to drag it up to the front and load it up. <laughs> Feel bad I got to talk and they're doing all the work. I'm gonna run into it with this tractor. Oh yeah. I felt bad I left you. Huh? I felt bad I left you.
I hope not. Is that his plan? Can he not tug it up the hill a little bit? You think that tractor will pull it? <laughs> wow, the tires are actually holding air. Well, taking air, I guess. We can drive it home. That one I barely got off straight down again. This a one owner car? Huh? One owner? I'm just kidding. Uh, He's taking all my trim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll put them all inside. Well, seems all right, barely. Dang. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Yeah, that was really close. That's character. Yeah. I think the, all the tree limbs down here are oh, just yeah, killing it's, everything. It's, that tree right here. Oh, this one did it? Where's that tree at? It's not here no more. Oh, you cut the tree down? Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. That one's going to come down. Yeah. Way. It's probably going to lean. Probably going to land on it's, my car. It's going to go that way. Yeah. yeah. I saved it. Heck yeah. All right. I guess Frosty's going to pull her out. Yeah. This thing's brand new. Here we go. All right, we just got the Chrysler up to the top. I gotta grab the farm truck, get all my tools back in here and try to get it loaded. I missed some of us pulling out of the woods. My stupid phone storage decided, oh, you need to clear stuff out, which I just did. So I missed some of it. That's all right. We're gonna get the rest of it. We got it hooked to the winch. Got me a new winch finally. My other winch got stolen, so I just now got me a new winch, but we're gonna see if we can winch this baby on real quick. Come my way. All right, I got the Chrysler loaded up and I'm headed back to Indiana. Um, yeah, this was really cool to see all this stuff. This guy's personal collection. He's got a lot of cool stuff. I did tell Hannah that I bought something, but I didn't tell her what I bought. So now I'm gonna Hop in the truck, head to Indiana, go to Hannah's work, and uh, show her what I bought for the first time. So get her first reaction of what she thinks. She'll either think I did good, or she'll think I'm an idiot. I'm not sure which one yet, but. Um, so yeah, let's hop in the truck and back to Indiana we go. Oh. <laughs> well, before we go, Shorty's gonna take us across the field. I was too lazy to walk over here, so he's gonna show us. Uh, yeah, move that box out the other stuff on the other side of this field real quick. It's an old Pontiac, huh? They don't make cars like they used to. That thing's a boat. I think it's cool. So an old Pontiac on this side. Fifty-six, yeah. Heck yeah. Truck bed camper, if anybody needs that. Motor home there. It's a pretty decent little car. Someone could fix it up. A little four door. There, old pa oh, there's the Packard limo. There it is. I just passed it up almost. So Packard limo, I'm not sure on the year, but they told me about this car before I came and man, just a shame. It's pretty rough there at the bottom and stuff. A little Jeep. Um, let's see an Impala back there. Not quite sure. An old Oldsmobile of some sort. That one there. Uh, another Chevy. He's got a lot of these. It's a good looking little car. Man, just so far gone. It's a shame. And another Jeep. quite back to Indiana but I had to get fuel I was getting nervous my truck don't have a fuel gauge and I thought any minute <laughs> I'm gonna be out of fuel but the farm truck is doing good um, the car's still on there 
this door don't shut but it's all right i gotta check my chains make sure everything is good that one's not it's loose but the farm truck's doing good you don't even notice the car's back here obviously i can notice that um the trailer's on the truck of course but when it comes down to uh hauling the car every it, you don't even know it's back here and it's doing good we're gonna tighten this down Let's say we i mean me tighten this down well maybe <laughs> i might have to put my phone down to do this all right i am about to pull into the drive which means i am about to see what cory bought i'm really nervous because sometimes him and i are not on the same page at all when it comes to buying things so here we go okay <laughs> so far i like what i see we'll just put this baby in park just kidding not in park lands and not here's park i'm gonna leave my lights on so i can see what we got going on here hi baby hi <laughs> they're excited because i bring them home food so they know but I'm gonna flip this around and show you. Okay. Here we have, the patina is really cool. I'd probably take the, the moss off here. <laughs> but that is pretty cool. Hmm. I cannot believe it's got all of the tires on it. I'm just wondering how much he paid. <laughs> Let's get a closer look here. So help me God if a snake pops out of here. Wow, I think this was, oh shoot, I think this was someone's house, possibly. Oh, it's got a rear view mirror. I am taking that for my truck. All right. We'll try it with the flash on here. Maybe you can get a better look at what I'm looking at. <laughs> hmm. Well, the patina is really cool on this. It is a Chrysler. Whatever. Oh, it's missing a hood ornament. That We're going to have to change that. We're going to have to make our own. I do. I mean, that patina is frank and perfect. Like I said, I would get rid of the moss, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I like how it looks painted. I mean, it probably was. My um, stepdad told me that when he was younger, they literally paint brushed and paint rolled their vehicles. So I'm sure this one's probably had it it looks like it didn't do bad um i do like it it looks like it was a homeless camp community homeless camp yeah the whole back of it looks like someone laid in there <laughs> and i know it wasn't a raccoon because it looks like a bed was made i don't know maybe he had maybe people he made his bed <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i like this little guy easily clean <laughs> that's cool yeah I think it'd be cool if we got took a power washer to it and got the moss off. Yeah. I mean, but it is really cool. Like, it's got a little hole in the trunk. I mean, it's you can see it's got a little rot there in the back, but yeah. But for the most part, I mean, I just love the paint. I know. Look, I mean, that's crazy. Well, when I seen it, I thought Hannah would love this, oh, so yeah. I bought it. <laughs> I like this right patina here. right here. Like, see the I know. the long scrape I patina. Like yeah, it's got really cool patina. And last night I about fell out because I oh you did grabbed onto this. <laughs> yeah, that door don't I shut. I thought I was gonna fall off the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Say, so how does that not have cracks? But I guess it's metal. <laughs> oh, um, I do have the hood ornament. It's in the trailer. I was afraid it was gonna fall off, so I took it off. Okay, I was very upset about that last night. Cool thing on the front. Oh, the little Chrysler logo? Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is a, Chry a 53 Chrysler Windsor. Is the hood ornament like a V? Um, here, hold this and I'll go get it. Yeah, it does have a dent in the roof, doesn't it? Yes, every car there had a dent in the roof, but this was the least of the dent. There we go. I, mean, I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. Well, I wondered, because look at the patina. Lift that up. That's why I said, is it a V? Oh, uh, I see. Well, I took it off because it only had one bolt holding it. I was afraid it'd fall off. I'd never find one. Mm-hmm. But yeah. You didn't do too bad. Yeah. How does it sound? She's really oh. quiet. It's one of those new electric vehicles. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to flame it on the ground. I thought about chopping the top, but it's still got a good roof line, I know, so I don't that's know. That's what I figure. Just flame it, make it a like a big sled. Yeah. Oh, that right here. If you all see this, I'm taking that for my truck. <laughs> I need one. Put it like white wall. Oh, let's it's go. got white oh, walls. Dang. Let's just use what's on it. Save some money. Oh. I think. I say just lower it. Put some big old gangster white walls on it you still haven't towed us engine yet well whatever we find diesel or gas yeah, a diesel but then you could do a little hood stack does that car turn around <laughs> turn around look does that car not look like a four-door with just the w doors yeah. i mean it's well, long I enough it was when i pulled in and then i when i got up there i know like if you if you look at this car it almost looks like it could have a line here and made a four door but it is a two door that's kind of the reason i bought it because most bigger cars are four doors and then this one's a two door and i thought you know that that'd be different and we don't do cars at all we can definitely slam it a lot because the distance between the rocker panel on the trailer and the top of the tire and the fender there's more there so we yeah. can definitely slam that thing what about on the back the back i'm not worried about the back it, we got cut the we'll cut it out we don't care but yeah, so tell the people what we're doing today, but don't tell them too much. Well, not in this video. We're, this is the end of this video, <laughs> but um, we're getting ready to go get another vehicle, but we're using Hannah's 59 Chevy Viking. We got the hitch I'm on it. I'm a little it. scared that it's not going to pull it. We'll just say that. Because yeah. It's, it's a boat. It it's puts a this car to shame. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be the end of this video, and we'll catch you guys on our next video. And instead of using the farm truck and the 50-foot wedge trailer, we're using Hannah's truck and, um, let's just say a lot smaller trailer. So, I guess we'll... A lawn cart. Pretty much. So, I guess that's the end of this video, and as always, we appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Yep.